Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Late Night Football. Today, we're talking about a seven-round mock draft on how the Minnesota Vikings win the entire 2024 NFL draft. This is how we're going to do it. This is what I would do, not what I think they're going to do. This is what I would do because I'm the best GM in the nation, of course. That's why I'm sitting here on my couch at home. Anyways, let's not waste any time. Let's dive straight into this thing. The Vikings are a prime candidate to trade up to one of these picks. Four, five, maybe six. I don't really see six. Four, five, they are on the phones with for sure. They acquired pick 23 overall right here. You can see it. So they might package 11 and 23 move up into those prime spots. Now, is that what I would do? Let's find out. Let's see how this thing plays out. Let's start this draft. And we got it on slow, so we can go pick by pick. Caleb off the board. Not expected. Didn't see that coming. May, nice. Three is important. McCarthy? Well, they just made her decision easy on us, huh? I don't see that actually <laughs> I don't see that actually happening on draft day, but we're going to rule with it. This is, a, this is a simulation. We're going to make it happen. So Daniels is on the board. This may change what I wanted to do initially, okay? Let's find out, okay? Because I do think I like Daniels more than McCarthy. I think McCarthy is a solid prospect, but I, I like him more than McCarthy. I think everybody should. If you don't, he was the Heisman for a reason. Let's go one more pick because I don't think they, they're not going to – there's no way, right? Marvin Harrison, Okay. What do we do here, guys? Do you want Jaden Daniels? In the thumbnail, I put Michael Penix Jr. because I actually had them trading up to 32, right? And Because I practice all these things, right? But today, we have a different story. Today, I want Jaden Daniels. No way he slides to five. And if he does, this is what we're doing because it's, it's a simulation, right? We're going to make it happen. 23... They're going to have to give 23. Let's just give them 23. This is what they're going to offer on draft. They're going to say 11, 23, because that's why they got the pick in the first place, I imagine. Um, let's just do it. Let's start with that. We're forcing the trade. I don't care if they like it or not. Chargers, give them to me. We are taking – where did he go? Is he off the board? Okay, we're good. We are taking the quarterback, the Heisman, Jaden Daniels. I don't know how we got to us. We are taking it five overall without a doubt. I'm not trying to clickbait y'all. You know what I mean? Jada Daniels just fell on this one, and we are very happy. Right, Minnesota? We are very happy he fell here. Jaden, welcome to Minnesota. You're going to be a very, very happy Viking. So we're not doing a lick of shit here till pick 108, so I'm just going to fast forward this thing. I'll see you there. We are back on the clock. Nobody came to the office on day two because we didn't have a single pick because we traded everything away. We're here on day three at pick 108. The Vikings in Minnesota have been celebrating. They got the Heisman, Jaden Daniels, and if he actually lands in Minnesota, I'm a Lions fan, I would be scared to death. In my previous mock draft, I had them trading up to 32 and getting Michael Penix Jr., thus he's on the thumbnail. But things shook out differently today, and we're okay with that. We're here at 108. We want the value on the board. Let's see what they got. Okay, I reviewed these picks, and I think we're down to two people in my opinion. We got a QB. Did we get a QB? We got a QB, and I think it's going to go great there in Minnesota. We got. We need a tight end. We need a guard. We need a center. We need everything else besides a QB, apparently. So we're taking best player on the board here with this many needs, right? Like, just take what you got. Eric Hall, I like that guy. I think there's a better tight ends, thus I mean Cade Stover. I think Cade Stover's a better player overall, more well-rounded. I think he'd do well in Minnesota. I picked him for Atlanta, so we're going to mix it up. We also love Bo Limmer, Limer. Excuse my French. I'm very sorry, sir. I love this center out of Arkansas. Very good player, and it's a, it's a position in need. We need this guy. So let's get him on our roster and waste no time. I'm going to meet you at the next pick at 129. All right, guys, here we are at 129. I know... We didn't pick on day two, but we got a lot of picks left. Look, 129, 157, 167, and the list goes on. You could definitely see the Vikings sending one of these picks along for that trade-up. We didn't today because it wasn't accurate. I'm just doing it to force a trade, but here we are. Nonetheless, pick 129. Who do we want? We need a tight end still, a guard still, anything on the D-line, and pretty much anything on the defense or the defensive backs. Who do we got? Elijah Jones. Some solid value right there, like his game out of uh, a bigger corner, 6'2", out of uh, Boston College. But I'm taking a reach here, and you're not going to like it, but I don't care. We just got a quarterback in-house, right? We just got a center. We're protecting our brand-new quarterback. Have you seen Jaden Daniel scramble and jump into traffic and damn near die? We got to protect this guy. I'm... I don't want to see that anymore. I want him to feel comfortable in the pocket, and that's our goal because we got well, the franchise is on the line. We got our guy. Let's keep him safe. Zach Zenter out of Michigan is a massive, I mean massive man, 6'6", 122. He's a little bit higher powered. I mean, like, his power comes from his chest, not really his hips. He's flexible. He's versatile. 
I like him a lot. I think he started at Michigan for like three, four years. Maybe just making that up. I thought I heard that somewhere, though, on a broadcast. Protect Jaden Daniels at all costs. I'm not going to run the risk that he's not there at 157. Give me that, man. I'm protecting my quarterback. I don't care what you say. This is my draft, not theirs. Let's do this thing. Here we are back on the board at pick 157, and we got another one in 10 more picks, and then another one in 10 more picks. This is ridiculous, Vikings. Look at y'all stack up on these picks. Here we are, though. This is the talent on the board. We need all DBs, we need all D linemen, and we still need a tight end very badly. We are on day three, so you're not going to directly fix a pick with a day three choice. You know what I mean? Like, they're not the most talented guys. They got potential. That's the goal. We want the best player available with potential. And I think that is Braid ain't bad at all. I like Malik. But y'all got to get so mad at me. I think I picked, like, so many offensive players in a row, and we're going to do it again. Dallin Holker out of Colorado State, I love his game, man. Catches everything, runs good routes, can block. Look at him, natural mover. He's not like an elite athlete, you know what I mean? But I'm not just going to take an athlete because they're an athlete. I want somebody who can play ball. You feel me? And that is what we're getting here. I know Hulk will, at the minimum, be at least a tight end two in the league, and we need anything we can get right now at the position. Give me Holker. I love him at 157. Here we are. We're back on the board. 167. We've got four picks left. We, this is a huge class for the Vikings, must I say. But we're here. I think I've picked every single player to be an offensive player because – we got an offensive head coach, twist my arm. I'm trying to protect our quarterback and get him right. So, this is our situation. We got Nugent on the board. I want a defensive player here. It's overdue. I'm not going to force it, though, if the talent's there on the board. I do like James Williams. What is he? A huge... He's a 6'5 safety? I thought he was like 6'3. 6'5 is insane. Um, He's so tall, it makes me question the pick. Who cares? Let's take our first defensive player off the board. I like James Williams. Let's do this thing. We got our safety. We're helping that DB room. Let's go to our next pick. Ten picks later, and here we are. I like what we got on the board. We got Joe Milton. We're not taking Joe Milton. We, <laughs> we got sorry, Joe Milton. We're not taking. We, we got our man. We got the Heisman. We got Jaheim Bell here. Well, he's a weapon. We don't really need him though. Like we got our guy. We're feeling good about Holker. Uh, Simpson, real option right here. Barner. I also like Barner pretty well. Uh, Briggs and Jefferson is who I'm looking at. And I like Jefferson just a little bit more. So I'm going to draft him and help out the D-line room because we have now helped out the cornerback room and the D-line just a little bit. You know what I mean? Just give them a little bit of talent in there. Help the guys out. I'll see you at the next pick. All right, Vikings fans, we are here. Pick 230 overall and 232. We are in the seventh round. We're taking dart throws. What can we get on this roster? And hopefully it works. Hardy, screaming my name. Pause, but he's screaming my name. I do want to take him here. And we got to pick as long as the Vikings don't take who I want in this next pick, and for the fear of that, they don't want a cornerback, I'm going to let him sit. I am kind of eyeing, where did he go? I want a second tight end. Twist my arm, a tight end guy. Let's get another tight end in the room. I like Tanner McLaughlin, and I don't think they're going to take him here. We're good. See, I'm a pro. Hardy, love you too. Welcome to the roster. This is my Vikings team. Let's go to the very end. Guys, we did it. This is what I would do. In the thumbnail, we had Penix. I was going to trade up for Penix at pick 32. And you get it like a fifth-year option. That did not happen this draft. They picked J.J. McCarthy third overall. And we'll take that all day, baby. The Heisman was on the board. I didn't want to give 11 and 23, but it's just, it is what it is, baby. It's probably going to have to happen on draft day, too. We got the Heisman. We got Jaden Daniels for the Vikings. Huge. And we just, the rest of my draft, my goal was protect Jaden Daniels. We've seen the videos of him jumping and flying and getting smacked like a rag doll. Mm -mm. You're being comfortable in the pocket. You can scramble when you want safely, safely, right? We gotta protect our QB, and that was my goal. We took Bo, we took Zach, we took Dolan. Now for the rest of the draft, I took pretty much defensive best player left available. Williams, Jefferson, Hardy, and of course, I like Tanner. At 230 overall, I love Tanner. Give me him on my roster. This is my mock draft. What did you think? You can't offend me. Let me know in the comments. What would you change? Would you not trade up for Daniels? Just let me know because we all got different strategies, right? There's a 200-something picks in here. You could do whatever you want. The possibilities are endless. What is your ideal mock draft? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like because it helps the algorithm tremendously. I'm making a mock draft for every single team. Seven rounds. Every single team in the league. Go ahead and subscribe down below because we are brand new to YouTube and I appreciate it very much. And if you guys are subbed and you happen to be super fans somehow of this 
a thousand person channel. I now have a Patreon in the description. It's like three bucks, you get an extra video a week. I have a $5 tier where you get a full preview of my rankings for the entire rookie draft of this year. And also of course for redraft as well. I'll send that out in August when it's draft season. Guys, thank you so much for watching today. I appreciate you more than you know. I love you guys. Have the best day ever. Peace. Let's kick off this elite tier in the best way possible. The Heisman himself, Jaden Daniels at LSU. Where do I even start with this guy? Amazing pocket presence, the most beautiful deep ball down the field that you've ever seen. Not to mention speed and agility out the gate. He's elusive as hell and you can't get this man on the ground.